Caroline takes the rails. If one day you were to ride and bury the bus, you would run down the winding country road with him under a short tunnel where the railway goes over the road by a bridge and over Henry's tunnel on the main line. Then you would hear Bertie's greeting to a friend of his as she arrives at Ells Bridge. Her name is Caroline, the vintage car. Every day, Caroline would travel happily on the road with her driver, or her owner, David. One day, David was out driving with Caroline to Suttery Station on Edwards Branch Line. They were almost there, when all of a sudden, something burst in Caroline's engine. And she was going slower and slower in a thick cloud of black smoke. David stopped her outside Suttery Station. Master Davis, what happened? I feel weak. Something's broken inside you, Caroline. I can't drive you anymore. Oh dear. David telephoned for help. And soon, Percy and Stetney arrived on the scene with Rocky and Sir Topham Hatt. Caroline, you must go to Marin Station to be repaired. The mechanic will be there to check you. But who will take me there? I can't go to my room by rails. Please, sir, I can take Caroline to Marin. You're not as careful as me, Percy. Caroline is a little old. I'll take Caroline, sir. Stepney and Caroline are good friends ever since they met back from the time after the pursuit of the cricket ball, and Stepney had brought Caroline and the players back to the cricket match at Ellsbridge. Sir, I insist that I should take Caroline to the mechanic at Mary's station. Very well, Percy. But you must go straight to Marin, so take care. Soon Caroline was loaded onto the flatbed. Percy, old chap, you must be careful with Caroline. She's an old car, and an old friend. I will be careful, Stephanie. Carrying a car on a flatbed is easy. I will show you that I'm as careful as you, and I will. Percy pumped his pistons and set out for Marin. But Percy puffed away too soon. He didn't wait to be coupled up to the flatbed. Wait, Percy, old chap! Wait! called the workman. But Percy was already heading for the open line.
pushing Caroline on the flatbed in front of him. Are you sure you know where you're going, Percy? Yes, Caroline, I'm sure. I know how to handle it. But I'm afraid he doesn't. Just ahead, they saw a small junction. The signal on Percy's line was red. Percy had to stop. Suddenly... Whoa! Caroline slid away from Percy and onto the main line. She was horrified! Oh no! The line to Marin Station went over Gordon's Hill. But Caroline, with no engine to push her, and the flatbed went on. Caroline wasn't going fast. The flatbed rolled a little bit up the hill, and then it rolled back again. Then the flatbed started to slow down. Slower and slower and slower. Until it came to a complete stop. That's a relief. I thought I was gonna be on for one of them wild rides. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caroline. Carrying my car on a flatbed isn't as easy as I thought. So Tobin had told me to take you straight to Mary's station. But I wanted to so stuffy that I'm as careful as him. Oh, it's okay, Percy. It happens to anyone. And besides, <laughs> it was just, just a not-so-small oh, ride. Okay. I have got you to Marin Station to see the mechanic. Percy's driver coupled him up to the flatbed. And then they set off once more for Marin Station. At last, Marin Station came into view. The mechanic was waiting as Percy puffed into the station with Caroline. Before long, Caroline was as good as new. Caroline wanted to thank her new friend, Percy. Is there a way I can get back on the rail, get back onto the road? Percy thought for a moment. Then he knew just the place where Caroline can go back on the road. I will take you to the railroad station. We will bring you back on the road from there. And so they did. Percy and Caroline arrived at Wellsworth Station. Then Percy's driver and fireman and the station master helped Caroline off the flatbed and back onto the road again. And while the station master telephoned for David, Caroline spoke to Percy. So quietly, only Percy can hear. Uh, they were taking me to Maroon on the rail there. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome, Caroline. Thank you.